If I could only use two words to describe my style, it would be boho farm. I'm an orange farmer in California, and growing up in the early 60s, boho has always been my thing. Hello, all you beautiful IOD creatives. It's Rhonda Church Finfrock of Fruitful Life Studio. And in this video, I will show you four different shirts that I have refashioned using IOD products. First, I gathered up some of my plaid flannel shirts and washed and dried them without any fabric softener. With sharp sewing shears, I trimmed along some of the edges without cutting through the seam. That way, when I washed these shirts, they would fray gently without coming apart. I use a textile detergent, shown here, to remove all the buildups of previous fabric softeners and detergents. I will post the links in the descriptions for where you can find the products in this video. Three of the shirts I decided that I would use bleach. I used a mixture of half bleach and water and soaked them until I saw that most of the dye was removed. Here you see me binding together the collar and yoke areas with the hems. That's the part that I wanted to bleach. Follow all safety precautions when using bleach. Wear gloves and a mask and take it outdoors. I rinsed these shirts with my garden hose over a big pile of rocks before taking them inside to machine wash. I also used a product called Bleach Stop to lessen the damage of the fibers. Then I realized I could use decolorant instead of bleach, which is much less harmful to the fibers of the shirts. I sprayed in a bottle half decolorant and half water, then steam pressed until the color was removed. Wherever I had sprayed the decolorant, the steam released the dye. Make sure you follow all safety information using the decolorant. It's probably best to take it outdoors. It does have a strong sulfur smell when you steam out the color. Won't you stay? Won't you stay? After washing the shirt to make sure all the decolorant was removed, I stamped with the Bohemia stamp an IOD ink in a mixture of black and china blue to make a navy color. IOD inks are perfect for mixing and blending. I put down freezer paper before stamping and then wiped the excess away with an alcohol wipe so that I wouldn't mess my shirt up. I am a pretty messy crafter. Make sure you re-ink your IOD ink pad often. You want that stamp to be really juicy before stamping it on any textiles. Now I'm using painter's tape to mask off the pre-stamped areas so that I would not have stamp overlapping. Know the secrets of the late night breeze. It's all pretend. The IOD stamps have a natural continuation design so that you can continue your pattern easily. When I am done with each stamp, I wipe it quickly with a wet wipe and then plop it into some nice warm gentle soapy water so that they will be easier to clean later.
I'm finished stamping the four shirts and I think they look awesome with the IOD stamps. You think I would stop here? Nope, not me. I'm going to keep going. I have big plans to create fabric appliques using the decolorant and the IOD stamps. I gathered up some old discarded t-shirts that were 100% cotton as well as some 100% uh, cotton jersey I had dyed and first tried rolling on the decolorant to the stamps but I preferred using the IOD ink pad. Make sure your ink pad is nice and juicy. Stamp the image on your fabric and then steam press to remove the dye from the stamped area. So don't you worry now, don't you worry now, all this will yeah, don't you worry now, don't you worry now, my The decolorant can also be stenciled on. Here I'm stenciling a set of wings with a JRV stencil to go along with the stamped IOD heart. To turn the stamped fabric into appliques that I can iron on, I'm using a double-sided fusible web. You could also use a fabric glue or hand stitching. I like to use the fusible web and then sew by machine. Buried my fear. And we scattered like trees. Sometimes in line, but I'm down all the time. As you can see, I use every spare inch of fabric for my stamping, and I even save every little scrap of the adhesive. Look at all the samples I have created that are ready to be cut out, ironed on, and sewn onto my shirts. My iron was a little drippy when I steamed this sample and as you can see some of the stamps are very muted so I decided I would stamp over the removed die and offset it just a bit with some IOD ink and it turned out better than I ever imagined. It's trouble by trouble by trouble by trouble so say To remove the paper backing from the fusible web, I use a little sharp needle or pointed object and score down the middle of the iron-on so that it, the paper is easily removed. I decide how I want to arrange the appliques and as I am layering them, I trim back some of the bulk underneath before ironing them on to the shirts. Don't let an electric sewing machine scare you away. They're pretty simple and I'm just using a straight stitch and a reverse stitch. But you can also attach and secure your appliques around the edges using a very easy running stitch. Just search embroidery running stitch in YouTube and you'll find all kinds of beginner videos. 
Next, I dug out some of my old laces and some thrift store shirts that were made of lace, cut them apart, and added them as accents. It gave my shirts just a soft feminine touch. Look through all of your IOD stamps and see what inspires you. Dig through your closets. See if you can upcycle clothing you may have gotten rid of. To find your local IOD stockist, as well as the list of online stockists, look for the links in the video description. Coming under your skin, don't know it. Should stop or begin Cause I was there by your side With my eyes open wide And I know that will always be true There were no reasons why There's our beauty must die Which I harbor we all so Thank you for watching my very first video of my IOD refashion series. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. I appreciate your positive comments, your thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a great day and happy creating. That I have to agree There is no one as reckless as me